Today's Send the Love, an emotional and touching story of a Valley nurse who left her family behind to help those who need it most. You may remember this story we brought you yesterday at 6 of how police officers in New York City gave a round of applause to dozens of nurses and other health care workers who came from out of state to fight the coronavirus. One of those nurses was Jamie Tomlinson from Litchfield Park. Her husband, Nate, actually spotted her while watching our news. I spoke with the couple today about what that special moment was like and what it means to be in the epicenter of the outbreak. The moment Nate Tumbleson saw his wife Jamie walk by on his TV screen. Wow, that's her. And I paused it and I rewound it. And then the kids were eating supper and I was like, that's mom. And we rewound it and watched it again. So it was like two seconds, but I mean, it made their day. Well, I, I couldn't believe it, honestly. I thought, I was like, where did you find this? So they think she's a hero, and now they think she's like a celebrity because they saw her on your news channels. We are going to start our rounding, so I do need to go. Jamie has been on the front lines at Lincoln Medical Center since April 1st. This nurse practitioner always wanted to help in an emergency. She just never thought her first mission would be during a pandemic and her first trip to New York like this. I don't know, like I felt guilty kind of in a way. In Arizona, it was kind of quiet, you know, life is fine and good. And then like, you see like your peers like reaching out, asking for help, like they look depleted and exhausted. And I just thought like, this is something I need to do. And if I can do it, you know, like I should do it. And, and the endless hours have been grueling and gut-wrenching. Like one lady, um, she was pretty old. Um, like we, we couldn't do anything for her and just kind of seeing her passing on the monitor, I guess, was just really hard to see and, you know, like no one wants to die alone, basically, and that's what's ha having to happen. And but there are glimmers of hope. I've never been so happy to see someone come off of a ventilator and like one lady, it took her a couple of days to kind of like regain her strength and her voice, but she wanted to FaceTime her family, so we did that for her in the room and, um, that was just really sweet. Like, she was very cheerful. Her family was, I mean, very grateful to like, see her alive, obviously. And, um, it was just kind of a moment of just, you know, like how precious your life is. Like, you never know, you know, you have today or tomorrow. Although Jamie's family misses her, they're behind her all the way. I just let her go and do it because she has a heart to help these people. And I, I tell the kids, you know, when they're upset, I'm like, you know, your mom got one person off a ventilator today, you know, that person is going to get to go home and see their family soon. So you're giving up your mom so they can go to their family. And soon your mom will get to come home and we'll be a family again. Just, you know, like we teach our kids like to be strong and brave and do the right thing. And then like this is just like a, a way to show them like to do it, you know, and have faith in the Lord and just go for it. Oh, what a heart she has. Jamie has been on the front lines at Lincoln Medical Center since April 1st. And obviously she, there's no telling when she'll be back. It could be, you know, in a couple of weeks. She did sign on for a couple more weeks. So obviously when she gets back, she'll let us know. But, you know, Mark, in times like this, you just see the heart and the dedication and the determination of these frontline workers. Oh, I, I'll, I'll tell you that they all have just this one thing in common, which is this incredible capacity to give back yeah. to other people. And uh, there's no limits to it. And, and it's just, it's, it's really humbling to see these people and what they're doing. It is so, so sweet.